Hey everyone, today for Dinosaur Day, I have three different products to share with you. The first product are the Snap and Learn Matching Dinos. So these are cute little dinosaurs that come in all different colors, and each one has a different pattern on top. So for this green dinosaur, it's a different kind of dinosaur than the other green dinosaur, first of all. And then if you look, they have different patterns as well. So this one has circular spots, and this one has square spots. Even though these two dinosaurs look the same, they're different colors, and they also have different spots as well. So what your child can do is they can practice matching the correct pieces to the correct dinosaurs. So this is a blue front of a dinosaur, and this is a green back of a dinosaur. Does that go together? No. This one goes together because it's the same color, and they have the same pattern. Your child can also practice counting when you piece together this dinosaur, there are one, two, three, four diamond shaped spots. This also works on fine motor skills as your child pushes the pieces together and breaks them apart. They're using the muscles in their hands. The next product is my daughter's current favorite because these are jumbo dinosaurs, but they also have mamas and babies. So not only are these dinosaurs nice and big for young kids to hold on to, but they also can encourage matching. So these two dinosaurs look alike, so they must be the mama and the baby. You can mix them all up and let your child find, have the mamas find their babies. You can also practice colors. What color is this dinosaur? I have them say purple. You can have them learn the different kinds of dinosaurs. So this is a Tyrannosaurus rex. You can talk about what makes them all similar, even though they might all look different. For example, they all have tails. They all have heads. They all have eyes. For older kids, they might want to do research about the different kinds of dinosaurs. What did they eat? How tall were they? Where did they live? The Jumbo Dinosaurs Mamas and Babies comes with a great activity guide that has even more discussion starters for you to talk about dinosaurs with your child. For example, there's facts, like the Stegosaurus may have looked scary, but it was one of the least intelligent dinosaurs. The Stegosaurus's brain was about the size of a walnut. An adult human brain is about the size of a cantaloupe, which is bigger. The last dinosaur products that I have for you today are the dinosaur counters. These manipulatives come in a set of 60 and are really great particularly for math and counting. They can comment on what makes each one different. So this one is taller than this one. The kids can also look up the names of all of the different dinosaurs. With any of these dinosaur products, whether they're small or big, one great activity that you can do is with art and paint. So you can notice that because they're different dinosaurs, they have different feet and therefore different footprints. So kids can dip them in watercolors and then you can make dinosaur prints with paint. In addition, if you have Play-Doh at home, that's another great way for kids to notice how these dinosaur prints are different from these and are different from these. The Learning Resources website also has a resource called 10 Easy Steps to Teaching Dinosaurs that includes lesson plans that you could implement at home. They include a crossword, science experiments, dinosaur digs, puzzles, science logs, and all sorts of different activities that you can really create your own dinosaur unit at home. I hope you enjoyed these dinosaur products. Head over to the Learning Resources website where they have even more ideas for Dinosaur Day.